Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast interview with the President of Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abramian. The existence of Artsakh is the most important factor in maintaining the regional and global geopolitical balance, David Babayan. All the maps we have will be put on the table. Deputy Director of the National Security Service of Armenia, Charles Michel Spokesman, touched upon the statements regarding Artsakh. A 3,400-year-old city in Wontani Empire has been discovered on the banks of Tigris River. Turkey's new attack in Syria will further undermine regional stability, State Department, traditional Karim cuisine in Javak, historical places of Western Armenia, Derjan province. On Western Armenia TV, the President of Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abramian, presented the works that are currently being carried out by him. These days he is participating in a conference organized by the International Intellectual Property Organization, where he presents the interests and rights of Western Armenia. The purpose of the participation is to protect the intellectual property of Western Armenia, culture, resources, etc. Mr. Abraman addressed the holiday of the First Republic, explaining its true meaning. The President of Western Armenia noted that in the coming days, he will meet the deputies of French Senate, where he will discuss the study that was prepared by them. Mr. Abraman will present the legal package at the meeting with them, the grounds of which are correct and reliable. Artsakh and its existence are the most important factor in preserving the regional and even global geopolitical balance. Artsakh Foreign Minister David Babayan wrote about this on his official Facebook page. He noted that if there is no Artsakh, the geopolitical landscape in Transcaucasia will radically change, and after that in the surrounding areas, after which it will be almost impossible to maintain the geopolitical balance by traditional means. This will lead to an open, tough and direct confrontation of the power centers, and what can happen when it's impossible to maintain the geopolitical balance by traditional means and when the great world and regional powers will be openly opposed to each other. I think the answer is very simple. The world may even be on the verge of nuclear war, the minister said. Deputy Director of the National Security Service of Armenia, Aram Hakopian, said that all these cards will be put on the table during the demarcation process. When asked which cards of the year will be taken as a basis, Hakopian replied, different how many cards we have and we will put on the table. What kind of cards are we talking about? The Soviet General Staff of the Russian Federation, which are a real trap for the Armenian side. Or is this Armenian Commission really going to put all the available cards on the table? For example, the maps of Severs, the League of nation which unlike the Soviet administrative divisions have international legitimacy and can be basis. The Armenian Commission is also going to put on a table the issue of the Russian-Turkish Cast Treaty of 1921, the maximum legal term of which has expired and which is the reason for the Russian-Turkish campaign of 2020 against Armenia. Due to this and other circumstances, the question of the return of Nakhijevan to Armenia arises. With the differentiation of Soviet maps, the problem will not be closed. On the table at least is the issue of Artsakh and Nakhijevan and the legalization of belonging to Baku, in which case the regional character of Mehri will become a reality. President of the European Council, Charles Michel, in the context of tensions between Armenia and Azerbaijan, in recent days confirms the commitment of the European Union to deepen cooperation with these two countries in the name of safe, stable, peaceful and prosperous South Caucasus. This is stated in a statement by Charles Michel's press secretary, Barrett Slates. According to President Michel, all the key issues that led to the first war in Artsakh, as well as the renewed hostilities in 2020, should be resolved by all interested parties, creating conditions for a lasting and just peace. President Michel's statement on the result of the leaders' meeting on May 22 should not be interpreted as a confirmation of the predetermined outcome of the discussions. In the end, the most important thing is that all issues are resolved comprehensively, including the rights and security of groups of the population. President Michel stressed the need to prepare peoples for peace and the important role of public rhetoric in this regard. He welcomed the leaders of Yerevan and Baku and announced his intention to participate in good faith in ensuring a favorable atmosphere for the continuation of the negotiations, expressing the EU's readiness to strengthen its support in taking confidence-building measures, the spokesman said. 
A 3,400-year-old ancient city belonging to the Tani Empire was discovered by German and Kurdish archaeologists. In a vast settlement discovered, several large buildings were found that may be the ruins of the city of Zahiku, an important center of the Tani Empire. In a short time, the researchers were able to map the city. Large buildings consisting of walls and towers, a warehouse building, and an industrial complex are located in the vicinity of the palace, discovered during the short excavation in 2018. The representative of the U.S. State Department named Price commenting on a statement of Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan that a military operation in Syria may begin suddenly made a statement. According to Price, the United States is deeply concerned about the possible increase in military activity in northern Syria and in particular its impact on the civilian population. We continue to maintain the existing ceasefire lines. We consider it important that all parties observe and respect the ceasefire zones and expect Turkey to make a joint statement in October 2019, including stopping offensive action in northwestern Syria. Any new attack will further undermine regional stability, Ned Price said. In the Armenian populated village of Damala, in the Aspins district of Javak, is distinguished by peculiarities of cooking and transmitting various traditional dishes from generation to generation. In this picturesque village where the residents settled in 1828, they still cook dishes that were handed down to the residents from their ancestors who emigrated from Karin in western Armenia. The names of the dishes are quite unusual, but they have their own explanations. In the kitchen consisting of different mixture of different flavors, Flavors, you can find a beautiful combination of sweet and sour, salty and spicy. Derjan is a province in Bartzer Haik, province of Great in Armenia. It is located in a valley of the upper reaches of Euphrates. Prominent peaks are Mariam, Pachar, Khach and Khalkal. Since ancient times, Derjan has been proclaimed arable land, the cultivation of selected varieties of grain. In May 1918, Turkish traffic exterminated most of the Armenians of Derjan, strangled many in Euphrates, and forcibly Islamized the survivors. More than 1,000 Derjans who escaped the massacre settled in Romania, Bulgaria, Persia, in Russia, and America. In 1916, Russian troops liberated Derjan for the second time, but the Turks again captured it in January 1918. Currently, the the church of their Jan is divided between the provinces of Yerzenka and Erzurum. Now musical part Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.